Hey there, welcome back to the Grow Cycle channel. We are here in the fruiting room today. We've got some beautiful lion's mane and reishi that are fruiting here at the moment. And this video is an exciting update. We've got some big news today. We are releasing a bunch of new lessons inside our online course, all on sterile mushroom production. And we want to tell you why. Now, so most of your viewers know that we're into low-tech mushroom farming and we run a low-tech mushroom farming course and a community that comes with it and it's just been really rewarding to help growers in that way to get growing without the need for expensive equipment or sterile conditions and it's been really like i said rewarding to see so many people use these techniques absolutely and i still think low-tech is a great way to start but there's always been a bunch of people who want to learn more whether it's people who have wanted to transition from low-tech into sterile production or people that are maybe wanting to run a business and have more reliable, consistent production, have more control. Mainly, I think, though, it's been people that want to grow a wider range of species. And all of these are things that sterile mushroom production enables you to do. Let me stop you there, though, because we don't want to knock low-tech mushroom farming altogether. It is actually really appropriate for a lot of beginner growers. For instance, you can apply it to growing oyster mushrooms. You can grow yellow, pink, blue, grey oyster mushrooms with great success. So we're not saying don't grow in a low-tech way. We do want you to know that there is a limitation though. Yes, and I think that's the main thing really yeah. for me, I think, is just a lot of people want to grow a wider range of varieties and I totally understand that as well. We've spent many years growing a full range of different oyster mushrooms and I love oyster mushrooms for many different reasons mm. and I still think they are really the best way for people to get started. But there's no doubt that growing a wide range of mushrooms is just a lot of fun and it enables a lot more as well. And we've been growing a bunch of things here over the last couple of years, haven't we? Absolutely, yeah. We've had lion's mane, we've had reishi, shiitake, king oyster, Inoki, Piopino, Cordyceps, a whole range of different mushrooms. Some of them we've been making our medicinal extracts out of as well. Uh, but it's not the first time that we've been growing sterile either. That's actually how I started mm -hmm. back in 2009. Had five great big pressure cookers, built a lab and a laminar flow hood. Uh, learned from old growers, textbooks, online forums, piecing it all together. But it did take a long time to work it all out. There's a lot of learning to be done for sure. And I can guess that some of you viewing this video might be thinking, look, hang on, sterile conditions, that sounds a little bit scary. Is it appropriate in my situation, for instance? And I'm here to tell you that it can not be scary at all if you follow expert guidance and a system. So these lessons that we refer to, you know, they cover so many things like how to build an atmospheric steam sterilizer, how to design and build your own lab, how to deploy sterile techniques. It's all in there. And what this means is that you don't need to do all the learning and all the trial and error that you've been doing back all those years. And I also want to just address head on that, of course, I'm aware that you're viewing this on YouTube, and YouTube is great, right? It's got a lot of high quality information on there that we can all benefit from, but it can also lead to confusion and overwhelm as well, of course. So I feel a system like this can benefit a lot of you growers. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's so many different ways of going about mushroom growing, and I'm frequently hearing from people sort of asking questions that indicate to me that they've got a bit lost just trying to work out what's the best way for them to proceed. And that's the whole point of this course, yeah. is to sort of give a bit more guidance and structure to the learning, which I think really makes a big difference, makes the learning curve much shorter, and actually makes it a lot more fun as well, because you start having success sooner. But alongside the lessons and the knowledge that we've got in the course there, I think a big part of it is the support and the community Without as well. Without a doubt, yep. Learning alongside other growers from all around the world, um, getting support, being able to ask questions about your specific situation is really, really valuable in your learning journey. And that's something that we've invested and put quite a bit of time into, isn't it? Yes, we have invested a lot. And um, for instance, in new community managers, right? Yeah, we've got Robert from Boxing Mushrooms in Texas. And we've also got Zach from Slowly Mushrooms in Wales, both of whom are actually members from the community who are running their own mushroom businesses. They've got a lot of experience to share. They're in there every day alongside us answering people's questions. And I really think that level of support and community and other growers really m makes the whole experience a lot more enjoyable for people. Absolutely. Personally, I find it really rewarding to see all this happen because it's what we've been all about right from the start. We set this up as a not-for-profit social enterprise, just aiming to help other growers thrive and succeed. And this is actually happening within this community, which is really, really great to see. Yeah, absolutely. So all those lessons are there in the course now already. Anyone that's wanting to learn, whether it's low tech or sterile or a bunch of other lessons in between, it's all there. If you're an existing course member, those lessons are already live in your dashboard for you to start learning from. 
And if you're not an existing member and you feel now is the right time to join, we've got a limited time offer on for you. Go and check it out. It's on growcycle.com forward slash offer. The doors are wide open. This information is all waiting for you to benefit from. And we look forward to helping you grow mushrooms together. And if you have any questions at all, you can either ask them directly below this video in the YouTube comments or on the course enrollment page. There's an option in the bottom right corner. Just click there, ask your question, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. In the meantime then, thanks a lot for joining us here for today's video. We look forward to welcoming you in the course and community soon.